Greetings everyone, my name is Jun Sakya from class 10A and today we're going to be talking about height and distance. So the topic itself is self-explanatory. We're going to be dealing with the measurement of height and distance. So before starting to solve any questions of this topic, we first need to know the basic terms of height and distance. So let's suppose that's the ground and there's a man standing right there. In front of him is a flagstaff. So let's say he's watching some part of the flagstaff. So the straight line that joins his eyes and the part of the flag is known as the line of sight. Now, the line of sight that is horizontal, meaning parallel to the ground, is known as the horizontal line. Again, if he sees something above the horizontal line, then the angle made between the horizontal line and the line of sight is called the angle of elevation. And if he watches something below the horizontal line, then the angle made between the horizontal line and that line of sight is called the angle of depression. So that, my friends, were the basic terms to understand height and distance. Now, to understand more of height and distance, let's try to solve some questions. So the first question is like this. The shadow of a vertical pole is 12 meter longer when the sun is 30 degrees above the horizon than when it is 45 degrees. Find the height of the pole. So, to solve any questions of height and distance, we first need to be able to convert that language into diagram. So, this question says that there is a vertical pole. So let AB be the ground and CD be the pole. And it says that there are two positions of sun. One is 45 degrees from the horizon and another one is 30 degrees. And it says that when the position of sun is 30 degrees, then the shadow of the pole is 12 meters longer than when the position of sun is at 45 degrees from the horizon. Now, we need to find the height of CD. So essentially, in most of the question of height and distance, we just compared two right angle triangles having one equal value and we just substitute the value. So we're going to do the same here. In triangle ECD, we know that tan angle DEC is equals to perpendicular by base. In this case, perpendicular is CD and base is EC. Now we know that angle DEC is equals to 45 degrees and tan 45 is equals to 1. So now if you cross multiply, EC will come to the left hand side and we have concluded that EC equals CD. Now in triangle FCD, we know that tan angle DFC equals CD by FC, which is perpendicular by base. Now we know that angle DFC is equals to 30 degrees and tan 30 equals to 1 by root 3. Now, FC is equals to FE plus EC. That's the whole part axiom. And we have concluded that EC is equals to CD. So we can substitute the value there. And after cross multiplying, we can take CD to the right hand side to get the minus. And if we take CD common there, we will get CD times root 3 minus 1. Now, if you just cross multiply and get that right there, we know that FE is equals to 12 meter. And if we just calculate this, we will get the value of CD as 16.39 meters, which is the height of the pole. Now, after this, let's proceed to the second question. The second question says, from the top of the tower 20 meter high, the angle of depression of the foot and elevation of the top of another tower are 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Find the height of the second tower. So again, we're going to solve this question by drawing the diagram. So before drawing the diagram, let's just break this question into different parts so that it will be easy for us to understand. So first part of the question says that from the top of the tower 20 meter high, that means there's a tower, let's suppose it as AB, which is 20 meters. And another part of the question says that the angle of depression of the foot and elevation of the top of the second tower. That means there's a second tower. So let's suppose that second tower as CD. Now it says that from the top of the first tower. So from the top of the tower, there is angle of elevation and depression to the uh, top and bottom of the second tower. That means we first need to draw a horizontal line to measure the angle of elevation and depression. And now it says that the angle of depression of the foot and elevation of the top of the another tower are 30 and 60 degrees respectively. 
And as we know, that horizontal line is parallel to the ground, so we can conclude that angle ACB is also equal to 30 degrees. Here again, we will compare the common value of two right angle triangles and solve this. So first of all, in triangle ABC, we know that tan angle ACB is equal to AB by AC. That's perpendicular by base again. And we know that angle ACB is equal to 30 degrees. And tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3. Now we have the value of AB as 20 meters, so we will substitute that right there. And now after cross multiplying it, if we calculate the value, we will get AC as 20 root 3 meters. So why did we find out the value of AC? Well, because BE is equal to AC. So we can conclude that BE equals AC equals 20 root 3 meter, and we're going to compare the value with the upper right angle triangle. So in the upper right angle triangle BDE, we know that tan angle DBE is equal to DE by BE. That's perpendicular by base. We know that angle DBE is equal to 60 degrees. Now we know that tan 60 is equal to root 3. And after cross multiplying it, if we keep the value of 20 root 3 there, then after calculating, we will get the value of DE as 60 meters. Now we know the value of DE and we also know the value of AB. So what we can do is we can write DC as DE plus EC. That is by whole part axiom. And we know that EC equals AB due to being a rectangle. And we know the value of AB, that's 20 meters. And we know the value of DE, that is 60 meters. So if we just calculate, we will get the value of CD as 80 meters, which is the height of the second tower. Now last but not least, the third question. It says that two poles are 120 meters apart and the height of one is double of the other. From the middle point of the line joining their foot, an observer finds the angle of elevation of their top to be complementary. Find the height of the pole. So this is a very long question. So we need to like break this question into parts to understand it. So first part of the question says that two poles are 120 meters apart. That means there are two poles, let's suppose it as A, B, and C, D. They are 120 meters apart. And the next part of the question says that height of one is double of the other. That means if the height of C, D is A, then the height of A, B should be 2A. So this means that A, B is twice C, D. And other part of the question says that from the midpoint of the line joining their foot, so the line joining their foot is BC, so the midpoint, let's suppose it as E, and as E is the midpoint, we can conclude that BE is equal to CE. And the next part of the question says, an observer finds the angle of elevation of their top. So from the midpoint of BC, that is E, an observer finds the elevation to their top to be complementary. So that means that if like the angles are X and Y, uh, if they are complementary, it means that x plus y is 90 degrees. That means x is equal to 90 minus y. So we will remember that and proceed to solve the question. So again, in this question also, we will compare the common values from the two right angled triangles. So in triangle ABE, we know that tan angle AEB is equal to AB by BE. We know that angle AEB is equal to x degree, and if you just cross multiply, get tan there, get BE there. Uh, we have concluded that BE is equal to CE, so we can replace the value of BE from there. And uh, we know that x degree is equal to 90 minus y degrees, so we can just substitute the value of x right there. And we know that tan 90 minus theta and theta is y here, is equals to cot theta, so cot y right there, and we have got a new equation, so we will like remember that as well, and we're going to solve the next right angle, the triangle. So, in triangle CDE, we know that tan angle CED is equals to CD by CE, 
Now we know that angle CED is equals to Y degree and if we just cross multiply CE will come into the left hand side and we have already found out the value of CE as AB by cot Y so we will replace that right there and we know that 1 by cot y is equals to 10 y so we'll just convert that cot into 10 and there's 10 times 10 so that's 10 squared y and we know that a b equals twice c d so we can just substitute the value right there a b equals to twice c d and if we just cut both c d's right there we will get um, one in the right hand side and if we just cross multiply we will like the two will go into the right hand side and it will be in the division form and if we just square root on both sides, we will get uh, tan theta, I mean tan y in the left hand side and 1 upon root 2 in the right hand side. And that is another equation. Now again, we know that CE equals AB by cot y. So if you just cross multiply, cot y will go into the left hand side and we know that CE is equals to half of BC as EE is the midpoint of BC. Now we know that BC is equal to 120 meters, it's given, so half of 120 is 60, and we know that cot is equal to 1 by 10, so 1 divided by 10, and we have the value of 10y as 1 by root 2, so if we just reciprocate and calculate, we will get the value of AB as 84.8 meters. So we will keep that in mind and we will go to our first equation that is AB equals twice CD. Now we have the value of AB as 84.8 meters. So half of 84.8 meters is 42.4 meters. So we will get the height of CD being the second tower as 42.4 meters. So finally we figured out the height of both poles that is 84.8 and 42.4 meters. So that was it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you understood the things that I showed here and have a nice day.